Hi there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education. Thanks so much for joining me on this edition of Integrative Movement Insider. Today is Sunday, so thank you for all you do. Hopefully you're, you're resting and enjoying the beautiful day here. Actually, it's a beautiful day here in Chicago. Hopefully it's beautiful where you ever, wherever you are. Last night we had an hour less of sleep, so this Facebook post live is a little bit later than normal. But thank you again for joining us, and thank you for all you do for your clients here in the health and fitness industry. One of the things we teach during our Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor Certification course, which we just did last week in Reston, Virginia, and then we got another course coming up in Boston, Massachusetts. So beautiful Boston, Mass. We're going to be there sharing three key concepts. Now, the first concept that we teach that can really help you change your client's lives. So there's three things. Number one, change how your client is breathing. Breathing impacts every single function in the human body and most of our clients are breathing with a non-optimal and inefficient strategy that's perpetuating a lot of health issues around the core, how they stabilize their core, around circulation, around their mental status, even around cognitive function and balance. Yes, there's a study that just came out. We always teach breathing as part of our balance strategy, which we'll, we're, we'll be doing in a few weeks here at the Integrative, Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor course. But we actually never knew that there's actually research out there to substantiate what we've been teaching in our courses. Until now, a brand new study that just came out shows that the more optimal that you breathe, the better the balance is. And that makes sense because breathing is a pressure regulator and that when you breathe three-dimensionally using the entire thoracopelvic pelvic cylinder, you can improve your balance because now you're able to suspend and you, and you oftentimes will see me correcting my alignment and creating that idea of stacking and suspension. Alignment helps set up you successfully for balance, and then using the pressure regulation mechanism of three-dimensional breathing will help your clients stay more upright and counteract that sense of gravity or that feeling or the function of gravity, which is to pull us down to the ground. So that three-dimensional breathing will allow us to counteract the downward pull of gravity. So that's the first thing. Number two, is getting our clients to improve their hip hinge pattern. And you know we've talked a lot about the hip hinge pattern here on Facebook Live. And the reason that is so important is because essentially that's one of our ways that we counteract falling, is being able to use the hip mechanism or the hip hinge, so to speak, to maintain balance. It also is the great way, or I should say the most important way for loading the lower extremity. If you think about your squat, your squat is essentially a hip hinge pattern. Your deadlift is a pure hip hinge pattern or more of a pure hip hinge pattern. You are lunging, your ability to lunge and load that forward hip or reverse lunge, load that forward hip, all comes from hip hinge pattern. So the better your clients are able to hip hinge, the more effective their glutes and hip complex will be, the more optimal their alignment of their hip and knee ankle and foot will be, and they'll also be able to maintain that foundation or that support of the thoracopelvic cylinder, because again, the pelvis is the bottom of that cylinder. So number one, breathing. Number two, hip hinge. The third component to really changing your client's lives through posture and movement is the feet is how your client is controlling their foot, and specifically the foot tripod. We want our clients to be able to support primarily upon the big toe, so the inside of the foot, the small toe, the outside of the foot, and the heel. So it forms a virtual, or relative I should say, or virtual, tripod support, so that when we get into single leg stance, so if we're just balancing statically, or we're just walking during a more dynamic activity, or creating a functional exercise pattern so that our client is hopping or jumping or squatting or lunging or moving around your gym facility, <clears throat> they're able to stabilize and support upon their foot appropriately. What we find in our clients is many of our clients have been incorrectly told or told incorrectly that they have flat feet. So I had a client come in the other day. So Jason came in, he, his foot was basically formed like this. So a lot of toe flexion, a lot of adduction of the toes, the toes coming closer together. And if you looked at his foot, his foot looked very similar to his dress shoes. And he was starting to have foot pain on the outside of the digits of his toes and also along the metatarsal phalangeal joints right here, the, or the balls of the foot. So what happens is when your foot is put into a shoe that doesn't allow the 
foot to be in its normal alignment, which is the foot tripod with the toes nice and long, then you start to compress the metatarsals together. You'll start to curl the toes on there, and that's exactly what Jason's foot looked like. So we did a little bit of work. So, <coughs> excuse me, the other thing I want to discuss is some of the products we use here in our clinic. So the first product you've seen me use is the roll guard. That's really our favorite myofascial release tool as rollers go, because again, it has a different grooves and we can really use this tool strategically to get into structures around the lower extremity. So around the gastrocnus soleus, around the hamstring, around the lateral quad and IT band. So we love this product. Foot specific, so I gave him a, John, Jason has a roll gun. He also has an activator. So we love the activator because now we can put the activator on the floor, so it's gonna be kind of small on your screen, so I apologize for that. But again, the activator allows me to spread the foot out around the activator, and we like that better than a ball because it doesn't roll away. So again, it allows us to spread the foot around that midfoot area. Because even though we want the foot tripod connection, we also have a lot of our clients, like John, who had a rigid midfoot. And when our clients have a rigid midfoot, they can't spread the foot and elongate the foot when they load the foot. So when they're doing any functional activities like squatting, lunging, bending, or walking, they can't spread the foot. So the activator allows you to get the tripod, or should say get into the foot where the foot is stiff so that we get a better tripod reaction. So the tripod functions more like a trampoline, so to speak, so it's not rigid and stiff. And now the client doesn't have to compensate by just flipping the ankle in. And that's where it may look like the client has a flat arch or a flat foot or that pronated foot, but it's just because they're compensating around a rigid midfoot. So rigidity, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see this, but rigidity around this portion of the foot. And that's why the activator works so well because then you can get the foot, or I should say the midfoot release by placing the activator through different por portions of the foot. So again, the Rolga and then the activator as well. Thanks guys over at Rolga. We only recommend products that we use here in our clinic and we've tested them over and over again with ourselves before we use them with our clients. And again, we, don't, we make zero money from mentioning any of this information here. So we're not getting kickbacks from these companies. So don't think that we're just selling products that, just so we can make money. These are products that we believe in, use in our clinic. And like I said, we have no investment in any of these com in companies and we get no kickbacks from these companies either for saying this. Now, another product I just got introduced to that I really like is Correct Toes. I'll bring this a little bit closer. So Correct Toes, they go in between the toes. We love these product, or love this product. It's a brand new product. Like I said, I just got a few weeks ago. I was introduced to a colleague of mine now. I should say just met this colleague of mine, Dr. Ray McClanahan out in Oregon. He's a podiatrist. And I love his presentation. We were both presenting at the medical fitness conference. And he talked about the correct toes. I should say he talked about the foot mechanics and how many of our clients are coming in with shoes that are too small, right? And they've been given orthotics. And this is not a discussion about orthotics or that nobody needs orthotics. But even he was recommending as a podiatrist that too many people are being placed into orthotics when they do not need them. What they actually need to learn how to do is to help create a more optimal foot platform. So that foot tripod to get their toes long, to create better short toe flexion, which is basically this motion here versus this clenching toe position like my client Jason was in and many of your clients are in as well. You'll see the toes curled under like this because they're clawing the ground for stability or support, especially our older population. So the correct toes is something, like I said, I'm just using myself. I haven't given it to my clients yet. So I personally have a high rigid arch foot. I don't know if you can see that from here. I tend to have a high arch rigid foot. My toes tend to clench under as well because again, I was a Catholic school boy and we never, we didn't have a lot of money to buy new shoes. And I always thought that shoes should be short and tight. So we didn't change our shoes a lot. So my toes got really curled under. So now I'm working really hard to get my foot to spread out, to get the midfoot to be more reactive. So again, I use my myofascial release tools. I use the correct toes, mostly just at home at rest. So again, but the cool thing about these correct toes are is you can also use them with activity, which is why I prefer these to some of the other toe spacers that are out, out on the market. Because it allows you to put this in between your, your toes. So I'll just throw one in just real quickly. And the great thing is you can also put it around the, the toe socks. We love the toe socks. So, so the brand I'm wearing right now is in Gingy. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but love these socks. So thanks in Gingy for these great socks. So again, it allows me to have the, my toe spacer in now, and now I can actually squat 
and do my lunges, my hip hinges, all my functional patterns, and really focus on keeping the toes long and spread out. But again, I've worked up to this over the last few weeks. So that way you're not just throwing them in and having your clients walk around in them or exercising them, read the instructions. Again, you can go to correct toes, I believe it's correcttoes.com. You can, you can read more about these, learn more about these. Again, highly recommend them. Actually, I was working with my own fit professional, fitness professional here in the clinic, Sarah Fisher, our integrative movement specialist. And she's like, your feet look a little different. And because I've been really focusing on getting the toes spread out as well. So that's product number two. The third product I just started playing around with is from my colleague and friend, Gregory Stump over in Germany. He and his partners came up with this product called Blackboard. So Blackboard, B-O-A-R-D. And this is a really unique product that has intrigued me because one of the things we see with our clients is they don't know how to move their foot independent of itself, so to speak. So meaning that you should be able to move the forefoot, the front of the foot, independent of the hind foot. So even though we talk about the foot tripod, we still need that foot tripod to be able to move and react and adapt to surfaces. So what's interesting about this and unique about this product is you can change how you put these sort of structures, these, you can Velcro these structures to the bottom of the blackboard to change how the forefoot or the hind foot is moving, are moving independent of each other. So again, just played, started playing with this on myself and it is an intriguing concept to me because what I can do now is by manipulating those pieces of wood here, I can put my foot on the blackboard, keep my hind foot stable, so my heel stable, and work on just creating mobility of my midfoot on my hind foot. So getting that E version of my midfoot without the whole heel rolling in. And if you had a cl client that really did have a flat foot, you can just reverse this and have your client work on getting more inverted midfoot compared to their hind foot. So again, a lot of different variations that the blackboard can allow you to do. So I'm really intrigued by this product. I'm starting to use it with myself just to make sure that I can use it and then be able to use it with my clients as well. So Gregory also gave me a link. So if you go to the website, if you're interested in learning more about this, go to blackboard.com. I believe it's blackboard.com. I apologize if it's not .com. And if you put in my last name, O-S-A-R, you, you can get 10% off this product as well. So those are three products we use with ourselves first. We make sure they work with ourselves first. Then we introduce them to our patients, make sure our patients can use them and have, can see the importance and efficacy of using these products on themselves before we ever recommend them to you here on Facebook Live. The Blackboard, like I said, is the only product that we haven't used with our patients yet. I'm just learning how to use it myself and trying to get the right combination of how it feels before I'll use it with my clients and patients. And then I'll tell you more about that as I start using it more. So important take home message from this video. I know it's a little long, so thank you for hanging with me. Number one, improve your client's breathing. Breathing in impacts every single function in the human body. Number two, hip hinge. Almost every lower extremity pattern begins with some version of the hip hinge and being able to move the pelvis anteriorly over top of the femoral head, improve the hip hinge. Your clients will improve how you're able to activate and use their glutes and hamstrings, as well as the overall entire hip complex. They'll take pressure off their knees and low back. And then finally, third component, improve the foot tripod. Teach your clients how to get their weight on underneath their big toe, small toe, heel, support and control that foot tripod, learn how to move the tripod during functional patterns, learn how to like lift the heels up, so heel raising and heel lowering, how to step control a tripod, how to squat, lunge, bend, controlling that foot tripod. And you've really given your clients a foundation for posture, for movement, for improving the things they need to do in everyday life, like walking and or running. And that's how you become that specialist for your current clients and attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay you for your expertise. Again, if you're looking for more information on any of the products, I'll put the link next to this video, depending on where you're watching it, so you can find out more information about it. And if you're looking for more information about how to put this information together into a program for your clients, especially your older, your active aging population, like the baby boomers and seniors, the medical fitness communities, the pre and post rehab, people after surgery, trauma, or injuries, if you're struggling with your own shoulder, hip, and or, and or core issues, if you have issues with your feet, 
This is what we do in our introductory class, the Integrative Corrective Exercise Instructor Certification Program, is we teach you the fundamentals of posture, movement, how to use corrective exercise based upon your assessments, and then how to integrate this information into the fundamental movement patterns. I'll put the link next to the video as well. And we look forward to seeing you at a training soon. Make it a great day. Thanks for all you do for our community. Have a great spring, and we'll see you soon on Integrative Movement Insider. Take care.